Hey guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. I uh, have not done a video like this in a very long time. Uh, my back, as most of you know, has just been giving me a lot of issues. So, I will do what I can. I wanted to do 12 ornaments until Christmas and do like 12 days of doing little drawings on these pieces of wood of ornaments. But that didn't happen, so I'm gonna try and get one in today. Try and keep it quick and simple. Uh, I'm gonna just do a little candle here. Maybe I'll make that black dot like the wick. A little flame, a little glow, something simple, hopefully. Don't wanna get too detailed. Uh, but I will start by just sketching out the candle ever so quickly. I haven't really drawn candle before. Actually, maybe I'll draw it with a dark, just the outline in a very dark color. Here's the wick. We'll say that's the wick. And the reason I'm doing an outline in the dark color is because the background's gonna be dark. At least that's the idea. And I don't know where I got this piece of wood. I think I ordered, this is one of the ones I think I ordered on Amazon, so. You know, it's probably gonna be good. And then all this back here will be dark. I'm gonna do the bulk of the candle with my French grays with like hints of these yellow colors. Sand, I think was too dark, so we'll take that out. Cross your fingers. Let's start with this. Hmm, I feel like, okay, I'm looking at a picture of a flame. I had to look one up and it has kind of like a purpley blue vibe happening around the bottom of it ever so subtly. I feel like I should go really pale with that. Sure, that'll work. Let me sharpen this up. All right, nothing like a little blue violet lake. And it kind of just is around the bottom. The things I never notice, kind of just like that, very subtle. Or very not subtle, I don't know, it depends on your point of view, I guess. So we've got the basics laid out. Let's start in on this candlestick. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna have the light coming from there, so the darkest will be down here. And we'll have it lighten up as it goes. I may even bring in a darker. Let's grab one darker warm gray, probably like the 50%. Pull it, oh, <laughs> I pulled it out and I didn't actually grab it. So let's try that one. Oh, that's better. I like the French grays. They have like a warmer hue to them. Not worrying too much about the details just yet. Just want to get like the basic shape in. And some of these underlying yellow colors. And I think it'll get warmer the further it goes down. So this is kind of a pale, pale yellow. And then I'll add the sand, I think, or not the sand, the uh, jasmine. I'll just bring the jasmine in from the bottom, warm up the whole thing. Just start layering in some color. Nice warm candlestick. Ooh. Ooh, it's so toasty. As my you know, piece of wood's falling apart. Let's do this background first, because it's gonna be kind of hard to blend that into the candle glow. So that's just a dark brown. And I wanted to make it kind of a reddish. What do we got? Tuscan red. Those could go nicely together. I think these are my darkest colors. So let's do the red glow first. And I'm not gonna press too hard because I do want to layer it with the dark brown. And it can be a little bit darker, like a little more darkness on the bottom, just because the candle is near the top part of the pay or top part of the uh, piece of wood. Just kind of trying to keep the central glow around the actual flame. Just gonna say it, the wood really eats up the pencil. All right, so now we got that red in there. That's just kind of the underlying color. And we're gonna bring in the brown. It's gonna be a very warm toned brownish piece. I'm gonna say the ones that I got from Michaels that already had the little hemp hanger already on it. Those have been the best ones so far when it comes to the wood cut pieces. They don't have all these super grooves. I mean, I guess I could sand it, but I'm lazy. Let's be real. Also, if you're gonna paint on these, that's it's not a big deal. All right, let's bring in some of the other colors. 
It's a very warm orangey brown. That's an even orangier color. And that'll probably be for flame. I'll keep that over there. This one might, might be good for the background glow. So let's try these three colors. You can also tell which colors have a little bit of a softer pigment because it's going into the wood a little bit more. Just kind of do a little yellow all over everything. I'm gonna have to change out the wood pieces. I really don't like the way this is laying down on it. It's not as smooth as I prefer. Whatever, we got some, we got some kind of background happening. Now let's, let's focus more on this candle here. Just trying to figure out where I want the melty bits. Have the rim. These little white kind of just block in where the light's hitting the hardest. Just to help me figure out what the heck it is I'm doing. this out just a sketch. Shadows are kind of getting lost. We'll see if, if they get lost even more. I may have to bring in the darker, uh, the darker French gray color. Maybe not though. I do think I need to bring in the darker. The 70. Just needs to amp up the shading just a bit, like the contrast. And then I can bring in a bit of the yellow, just cause that flame is quite warm. So it add a lot of yellow hue to it. Which I didn't love the way that turned out, so let's just kind of lighten that. Eh, it's all right, it's not my favorite, but you know. I'll blame it on my bad back. I'm just adding highlights right on the edge just to make the candle stand out a little more. This is where I'm creating fake lighting just to make it more visible. All right, let's work on this flame here. I feel like the darkness would be really coming in close where that flame is. But I don't wanna go dark, dark, so we'll bring in orange. We'll kind of take like a, the lighter colors and just sort of darken up around this flame. Just give it a little bit more shape. And then around this area is kind of see-through. And then this Pale blue magic, whatever that is. Try this color first. Kind of add a little more of a red, maybe orange. Kind of makes it a little cartoony, but it definitely makes it more of a flamey color. And try a pale yellow. Was it sand? Sand was. It was all right. Blue sand. Get that area in the middle really white. 
And then I'm gonna take this dark brown and just kind of darken up all the background. Start around the flame just so I can have a general idea of how dark I wanna do everything. And then I can just blend this out to the darker colors. And then I'll go over with like a warmer, what are you, what color are you? Goldenrod. Yeah, you're like a nice warm brownish butterscotchy color. Bring in that color just a little bit under the candle. It was better than that bright yellow. It's not looking bad. It's kind of hard with all that texture, but we're making do. Just adding a touch of red. And then I'm gonna bring in maybe this color. Kind of tone that red heat down. I'll kind of add a little glow. And then get like a brighter yellow. Where's a bright yellow? Something like that. I feel like I still want to go darker with that background. Like maybe it just shouldn't have a glow. I chose the very reddish brown just because, you know, Christmas and all that jazz. Got a little scratchy texture to it since there's already so much texture from the wood anyway. And we'll bring in maybe an orangey color. And I almost want to just bring in black for this bottom part. Let's see how this goes. Just keep it a little scratchy, a little textury. I mean, it's just adding a bit of darken. Darken a bit of darkerness to the bottom. <laughs> Ooh. Now I feel like the candle's a little too light, but I'm also scared to go a little too dark. Let's see. Warm gray, 90. Just darken it up a little bit. Could probably use black on the wick. Something like that. Make that blue color stand out a little bit more. And then darken up this little area so it's almost like it's see-through. Hmm, I think I could live with that. And my back definitely thinks I can because it's, it's getting close to wanting to give up. So let's add a little bit of the sparkly to the top and see how that goes. I wonder if I have Something to spread it with besides the brush that I just threw away because it was so stiff because I forgot to wash it. Whoops! I will use a nice brush and just go wash it right after this. Dump this right on the page after I peel off that goo. It looks a little different just because the wood got wet from the paint. So I'm assuming when it dries it's going to lighten up considerably. But there's that. I'm gonna have to wash that water out. It's kind of nasty. All right, let's give this a quick dry and see how it's gonna turn out. All right, ooh, look at all those festive sparkles. The candle is a glitter. I'm gonna do one more thing. I do have this gold pen. If I could get this unzipped, that would be cool. Oh, the tags are there, no. I did it. This little thing got in the way. All right. So this is my Jane Davenport Golden Age pen. And I like to just do a border with it. All right, nice little glittery edge. And I don't know if I, oh, I don't think I have my sparkly pretty. I only have plain hemp in this one. I don't really want either of these, but I'll try this one, whatever. I do have one attempt like this, but it has like a gold glitter throughout it, which is super cute. Nothing too fancy. I'll just tie it in a knot. I was gonna do a bow, but then it might untie. All right, trim that off. Maybe I'll even pull that around the back. And there we have it. A cute little Christmas ornament. One down. I have a whole box of these things, so I don't know. I'm gonna do a bunch of them, but that's cute. And I did a little sparkly thing to tie them all together. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I know it was pretty quick. But hey, I'm going to do as many as I can. 
my back is super stiff, <laughs> but thank you for joining me and I'll see what I can do. I, I love hanging out with you guys. So if, if all else fails, I will definitely see you Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, yeah, take care. Love you. Stay safe. Bye-bye.